Hey guys, this is Mr. Grace for Algebra 2 Unit 5, Review B. Remember to show your work and to circle your final answers. So, number 1 through 6 says to use the functions below to perform the indicated operation. Well, we've got 1, excuse me, 2, 3, and 4. Four gorgeous functions. Now, we just have to look at each one to see what they're asking us to do. Number one tells me to start with g of x, and then we are going to subtract k of x. So I'm going to write g of x down, which is 10x squared minus 6x plus 4. And I'm going to subtract that with whatever k of x is, which is the x squared plus 8. OK. Now we need to distribute to get out of parentheses. The first one, I'm distributing a positive 1, and it stays the same. But in the back, I have to distribute a negative. So when I distribute a negative 1, my signs change. From there, I look for my like terms. I've got a 10x squared and a negative x squared, which gives me 9x squared, the 6x is all by itself, negative 6x. And then we take the 4 minus 8, and 4 minus 8 is negative 4. So we're left with 9x squared minus 6x minus 4. All right, number 2. So number 2, we have g of x, and we are adding h of x. So once again, we start it with parentheses, 10x squared minus 6x plus 4, and I'm going to add that with h of x, which is 3x minus 5. Now, when I have a positive, I don't really have to change anything. I can just rewrite them because when I multiply everything by a positive 1, Nothing changes, and that's supposed to be a 5. That just looks weird. There we go. Okay, so my 10x squared, and I'm just looking for my like terms right there. So we've got 10x squared, negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3x, and 4 minus 5 is 1. So we get 10x squared minus 3x minus 1. All right, three, you have to look what's out in front. So I have six times f of x minus g of x. So I have this six out front, and then I'm going to write f of x, which is one half x minus nine. And then we are subtracting that with g of x, which is the... 10x squared minus 6x plus 4. Yeah, we should have g of x memorized by now because we've had to do it like every time. Okay, so 6 times 1 half, well, half of 6 is 3. So we get 3x, and then 6 times 9 is 54. Back here, we're going to distribute a negative 1, so we get a negative 10x squared. Negative times a negative is a positive 6x, and a negative times a positive is a negative 4. We're looking for like terms. Negative 10x squared, he's going to go out front. He's our leading coefficient. 3x plus 6x is a 9x, and negative 54 minus 4 is a negative 58. So we get negative 10x squared plus 9x minus 58. All right, next one. We have h of x times k of x. So I'm going to take h of x, which is the 3x minus 5, and I'm going to multiply that with x squared plus 8. Now, you can do box method or you could distribute either one, it doesn't matter. 
for this one, I'm just going to distribute. So we get 3x cubed. 3x times 8 would be 24x. Negative 5 times x is a negative 5x squared. Sorry, negative 5 times x squared. And then negative 5 times 8, which is a, oh, not positive 40, it's a negative 40. Now, this is not my final answer because it's in the wrong order. There are no like terms, but when we write our answer, it needs to be in standard form from the highest exponent to the lowest exponent. And there we go. So one through four, I think we do a good job at. It's when we get to five and six when we start getting a little confused. So we're starting with k of x, and then I want to plug in h of x. All right, so what I'm going to do first is write my k of x, my x squared plus 8, and then wherever there's an x, that's where I'm going to plug in. And I don't have one x, I have two of them. So this is really saying, what is 3x minus 5 times 3x minus 5 plus 8? Okay, so to solve that, we would need to distribute. 3x times 3x, we get 9x squared. 3x times negative 5 is negative 15x. Negative 5 times x is a negative 15x. And then negative 5 times negative 5 is a positive 25. And then don't forget the positive 8. And when we do that, we can go ahead and combine our like terms. To get the 9x squared minus 30x, and then 25 plus 8 is 33. Okay, so same thing with 6. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to start with the f. That's the 1 half x minus 9, and then I'm going to plug in the g of x. So the 1 half goes out front, and then I have my 10x squared minus 6x plus 4 minus 9. Okay, I need to distribute the 1 half. Half of 10, 5x squared. Half of negative 6 is a negative 3. Half of 4 is 2. I only have one set of like terms, and then we get our answer of 5x squared minus 3x minus 7. All right, number seven and eight. So what it's saying is we need to factor by grouping. I'm going to take f of x and I'm going to divide it by g of x using the given functions. So there's my g of x. There's my f of x. The first thing that I have to do is to factor my 12x cubed minus 32x squared plus 15x minus 40. Well, what goes into both 12 and 32? Yeah, it's a 4, okay? And it's 4x squared. So the 4x squared goes out front. 12 divided by 4 is 3, and then we get 3x. Negative 32 divided by 4 is a negative 8. 15 and 40, the only thing that goes into both of those is a positive 5. The highest thing, I'm sorry. So 15 divided by 5 is 3x, and negative 40 divided by 5 is a negative 8. 
and just like we wanted, we want to get these two to match. So we get 3x minus 8, and then 4x squared plus 5. Now, I am not done. That is my side work, okay? They're saying, hey, what is 3x minus 8 divided by 4, and 4x squared plus 5? Because that is all of my f of x. I want to divide that by 3x minus 8. Okay? Oops, sorry. There we go. And then when we divide those, we notice that the 3x minus 8s cancel. And then we're left with 4x squared plus 5. Okay. So number 8, we're doing the same thing. We're dividing these two. Over here, we're going to break them up. I already know that I have a 2x squared plus 7 down here. I just got to figure out what 2 are on the top. Okay, so 8 and 6, I can take out a 2, and it's going to be a 2x squared. On the right side, 28 and 21, I can take out a 7. So we get 2x squared plus 7. But then i got to figure out what the remainder is. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and it's going to be a 4x. Negative 6 divided by 2 is 3. 28 divided by 7 is 4. And 21 divided by 7 is 3. So we get 4x minus 3. And then 2x squared plus 7. So 4x minus 3. 2x squared plus 7. And then our 2x squared plus 7s cancel out. And we are left with 4x minus 3 as our final answer. Okay? All right, we're going to pause it right there just because Mr. Geist needs a break. Uh, and then video number two will be on the other side. This is Mr. Geist signing off for Algebra 2, Unit 5, Review B. Thanks for watching.